Hi, welcome back. This is Dahlgren, and we're looking at uh, episode four, season three of Double Lot Six, The Fifth Day. Mm, and I need. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Sure, I'll take that. No, the rest of them I don't need. Alright. We're headed to the city. And that's the only place I know where we can get uh, fire... Whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. Fire arms. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. And that. Let's see. Construction module. Got that. Wood is good. Alrighty. Well, the only place we know for sure that has uh, a city is... Excuse me, I was just checking to make sure my timer had started. I want to keep these low, slow. Ugh. Uh, keep these short so you guys can enjoy it and everything else that you have to do okay let's see bat three that's good okay probably should have uh, put in any a hacker module uh, instead of construction, but I was thinking that I might be able to. Oh, I sure wish that was a that was a toggle. Okay, we'll check down here first, as per normal, and then we're going to head towards those two uh, uh, towers, cooling towers, maybe, is what you, they are. And uh, right next to them is a city. Unless things have totally changed. Is nothing. Oops. Help. Is nothing. Oh, yeah, it's something. Oh, 9mm. Oh, absolutely. Take all. I'll use it with my 9mm wishful thinking gun. Oh, my goodness. That is probably that. No, it isn't. Is this very accurate? Maybe because of the constant movement of the hive. It's not quite as accurate. Yeah. Those are ones you can't get into. And I've been thinking a lot. Um, previous episodes in previous seasons, I've uh, built houses. I've uh, developed the the uh, area of the building we just left, or structure we just left, as a as a uh, armory of sorts to protect us with a turret and. Uh, Oh. oh, and this is when I would need it. Oh, blessed, blessed, blessed. Okay. Hi, you beautiful thing. 
How's it going? I'll be back. Alright, there's the tower. Now let's get it top here so we can get a... Oh, okay. Line up the tower. And the... Uh, You stack whatever it is, and it'll lead you right to it. I can do that, so we will not lose it. Of course, I'd really like to find another general handle or whatever you call these things, so I could put the uh, the hacker in and take care of talking to that thing. Getting us a buddy. Okay. Well, this is going to be across the field. Using this hill as cover. Which means that anything over there can see me, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Now, what we're going to do, and what I am not going to make you wait through, or even think about asking you to wait through, is I'm going to sit by this tree and build up some KJs. We were moving really nice there for a while. And I want to keep it that way. Must get another reactor. At least one. RA zeroed out. Okay, that bottom tank. Drop all. Drop all. Where's that put me? I think I hit something that took away the HUD. That's, that's great. Hmm. Don't know what it could have been. Well, there it is. I don't know what I did, but it's... Okay, I'm down below. I'm at 1,600 approximately. There's usually nothing inside the uh, cooling tanks, if that's indeed what they are. Or the cooling towers. But we'd be crazy not to at least check it out. We are so close to that big tower. Just so close. That is so scary. And if you get in here and you don't have many KJs, you're going to pay hell trying to get out. I'll pay hell trying to get up this hill and over this little bar right here, probably. I'm going to just walk straight into it, and I got over it. Well, bless you. There's some multi-story buildings. My problem is that it will take forever for me to get jump enough to start working in there, and that could easily end up killing me, but there's really nothing else I can do. Unless I actually find another reactor that'll speed up things, and we can 
do it to it. But I ain't going down there for it unless there's something real good. All right, we will start over by these tanks and move. Our best chances of getting a reactor are there are some machines, uh, repair and uh, charging machines over here. And if we can actually get to one before we get killed, we might be able to do something. Oh, this is so scary. Even with the radar. Okay, this does it absolutely does this absolutely no good. I mean, it won't repair us or charge us. It just, uh, I mean, it won't repair us. I mean, excuse me, it won't charge us. I just heard the boip. I don't know where it's coming from, and I can't run. So this is probably going to get me killed again. Guy's keeping up with me. Okay, let me go along here and try it again from a different angle. If we're going to get another reactor, that is one of the key places it's going to happen, is right back there. Nope, still there. I mean, not still there. Probably somebody knew. Yeah, I can't crank up a jump. Oh, I, I, no, that's just... I can't do that. Sorry, I didn't see the red. I was looking forward. I'm not going to walk into a bad guy. If we die, it's because I make a mistake, most likely, but it's not going to, hopefully, not be a stupid one. As you can see, we've skirted about two-thirds of the town, trying to get in. And at this speed, and being unable to jump to the first floor of that seven-story building, it makes it fairly much impossible to get any advantage there so let's uh let's try the periphery here and see what we can do well at least there's one that's behind where i want to go instead of right where i want to go all right here's our big chance if we don't see red we may not be dead we have to get to that far corner there but anything is possible if you're gullible no i'm kidding Gullible helps, but the uh, reactor will be on the side. There's a place for two of them on each side. This one obviously doesn't have one on that side. Um, ah. Ah. Yeah, this was the one on the outside. We need to go over there. Okay, there's a couple possibilities in here. Some little rooms. This is normally when they catch up with me, though. When I've been here long enough to get to these, it can be bad. But we'll see. Nothing. Wait, is there something there? Yeah, a door. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, I see that. Don't no, nothing there.
I have not found any quote unquote safe place to hide. Uh, there's not like a place you can tuck your tail between your legs and run to until you've actually built it. So you're on your you're on your own. If you could hear that, that was my blast off episode ten. The rendering's done on it. Let's see what we can do with this stuff over here. I don't know if there's even a way in. Well, come on. But you have to have. Okay. And nothing. I'm not sure what I got to do to get a reactor. But it's more than I'm doing now, apparently. I think this is the same one I was in. No, it isn't. They always surprise me. Yeah, I've got a lot of capacitors. And a lot of bad guys after me. Uh, no, got to go this direction. Straight out to the right, and then if they aren't right on me, I might have a chance to disappear. Excuse the silence, I am scared as hell. I'm going to get caught here. Lose everything? As per... Ugh. Come on. It's what we need and what you won't give us! Excuse me. Okay, here is a fount of stuff. If we can get across here and inside the first floor and then by some miracle build up some build up some power then maybe we can maybe we can actually live through this Wow. Oh my God, this is barren. Well, oh, maybe I can walk faster on pavement. Well, for goodness sake, it looks like this entire entire episode is going to be me getting a bunch of capacitors and walking very, very slowly. And I apologize for that, but that is the game play that I have been able to figure out if you have a uh, some little tricks and tricks and stuff about playing the game that'd be great but 
keeping in mind what I have been doing today. If I can do something better in the areas I was at, let me know because I'm always open for suggestions. I feel like I'm going to go a field too far or a tree too far and but I keep hoping I'll see a structure of some type that might be of some assistance. Really wish I could find that bunker. There is a structure over here. Let's go ahead and check that out and then we'll call it a call it an episode. If I get that alive. I'm not sure if there's something else over there. Oh, that's just those Goofy lean tos. There's normally nothing there, but we we could get lucky. Oh no, I got two, one on both sides, closing in. Unless there's something like God sent here. No, okay. Let's see. What can I do? I can go this way. I can go this way. Yeah, this is not real fun. There is no way out of this. I'm going to get killed. Because I can't walk fast enough to get away from them. Yeah, that's, uh. I don't know. And if I don't walk a straight line, I'm going to. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. This is, uh, be good, but. They usually walk faster than a crawl. Yeah, he's catching up with me. Probably uphill a little faster than me. Should be aiming about right now. And unless we can get over this hill and start going downhill a little bit, we're screwed. Okay, maybe if we make it up to this next hill. I think he's going to catch up with us, though. There's nothing I can do, nothing I nothing I have that I can fight him with. We have something to hide behind and then have him come up, then you can bash him over the head, but you just turn around and, yeah, there you go. So that's uh that's the fifth day at this at this time. So obviously I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna write a little letter to Taos and ask him why the zero KJ? What, what game mechanism, gameplay quality does that give to the game? And maybe you'll have some insight for me. But anyhow, you guys take care of each other. Uh, this is Dogger Out. Love you guys.